Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Lecture 3 of 5, 9.3 Differentiation of Exponential, Logarithmic and Trigonometric Functions So we want to differentiate 3 types of function here. First one is exponential, second one is logarithmic and third one is trigonometric. This is our objective. So the first one, the function that we want to differentiate is exponential function. We call back Exponential function is any function that is in the form of y equals to a to the power of x. This is the simplest form of exponential function or index function. So the simplest form is a to the power of x. So now we want to differentiate. So differentiate, the symbol is d dx. So differentiate y is equals to differentiate dx. We differentiate left side and right side. Differentiate y with respect to x is dy dx. Okay. Differentiate ax. So how to differentiate exponential the exponential function here? So the answer is you copy ax then multiply by ln a. Okay. This is the answer. So how to prove? Okay. Take a look at the proof here. If given y equals to ax. We, you need to take along both side of uh, to the both side of the equation then you will get ln y is equals to ln a to the power of x okay please take note when you take ln both side you, we can apply the rule so x will uh, we, we can bring x in front so ln y equals to x ln a okay so we continue the next page then ln y equals to x multiply with ln a then how to differentiate ln y now we differentiate both sides differentiate ln y and you also differentiate on the right side that is x multiply by ln a differentiate y this is implicit differentiation okay implicit Implicit mean you want to differentiate a function that is in not in terms of x. Now y is a function not in terms of x. So how to how to differentiate ln y? So differentiate ln y is one over y. Then you need to differentiate y itself. Differentiate y d dx y. Differentiate y dy dx. Okay, please remember. Differentiate y dy dx. So, we have dy dx here. On the left side. On the right the right side, you can solve by let x as a u and ln a as a v. Okay? u equals to x. So, u prime equals to differentiate x, 1. Then, what is v? v equals to ln a. Please take note that ln a here is a constant there is no x here ln a is a constant so what is v prime differentiate constant zero okay so we cross here so by using product rule we have x multiply with zero plus ln multiply with ln a multiply with one okay Okay, now this one is 0, so we get 1 over y dy dx equals to ln a. So finally, dy dx equals to y multiply with ln a. So substitute back, what is y? y equals to ax. Okay, so this is the con conclusion. If given y equals to y equals to a to the power of x, so dy dx is equals to ax a to the power of x multiply, multiply by ln a okay what about if we have a scalar here differentiate a to the power of mx we have a scalar m here so the derivative of a to the power of mx is you have to copy a to the power of x then differentiate mx the answer is m then don't forget to multiply with ln a so we have three things you have 
to consider here okay firstly you need to copy what is the exponential form a to the power of mx then differentiate m x the answer is m then you have to multiply with ln a okay okay now number two for the general exponential function a to the power of x number two for the general exponential function a to the power of fx here where what is f f is any function in term of x the derivative is given by d dx a to the power of fx so you need to multiply you need to copy a to the power of fx here then differentiate fx differentiate fx we get f prime x the second one you need to multiply by f, f prime x then thirdly you need to multiply by ln a so please remember this rule okay so first example differentiate the following with respect to x if y equals to fx so dy dx equals to 5x then you need to multiply by ln 5 okay b if y equals to 4 to the power of 3x plus 5 so how to solve differentiate y dy dx is equals to so firstly you need to copy what is the exponential function 4 to the power of 3x plus 5 then you need to dif differentiate differentiate 3x plus 5 then I will multiply by ln 4 so the answer is 4 to the power of 3x plus 5 then differentiate 3x plus 5 the answer is 3 multiplied by ln 4 so how to arrange the question this is the simplest form you cannot multiply 3 with ln 4 because um, you just leave the answer like this C if given y equals to 3 to the power of 5 minus 2x so differentiate y dy dx equals to copy what is the function 3 to the power of 5 minus 3x then you can multiply by ln 3 then next step is differentiate 5 minus 2x so the answer is dy dx is equals to 3 to the power of 5 minus 3x multiply with ln 3 and differentiate 5 minus 2x negative 2 so how to arrange normally we will write the constant first then we have ln 3 and lastly we have the function here that is 3 to the power of 5 minus 3 x so please take note we have the 3 them here okay number 3 for the simplest exponential function e to the power of x so the simplest form of exponential function is y equals to ax okay please remember we already learned this function uh, in function in topic function and graph so now we are going to differentiate this function so you have to memorize the formula is given by this one differentiate e to the power of x is given as ex itself okay so dy dx equals to differentiate ex is ex okay so what about if we have a scalar m here so the scalar is m differentiate e to the power of mx is equals to you need to
copy what is the function e to the power of x, mx then don't forget to differentiate mx differentiate mx m okay so bring m in front so i write it again if y equals to e to the power of mx so y prime is equals to you have to copy what is the function e to the power of mx then don't forget to differentiate the power here differentiate mx okay so the answer is the, the uh, differentiate mx is m so i bring m in front and you copy the function e to the power of mx okay number four for the general okay general exponential function e to the power of fx so what is fx fx is a linear function fx is a linear function of x so differentiate e to the power of fx you will get e to the power of fx then differentiate fx we have f prime f x here okay i hope you can memorize all the formula that i share with you uh, because when your basic concept is uh, strong it, it is uh, easy for you to solve the question so take a look at the proof here we will use chain rule if y equals to e to the power of fx so what is u u is fx here so differentiate u with respect to x du dx equals to f prime x then if you let u equals to fx y is equals to e to the power of u so dy du equals to eu because if y equals to ex dy dx equals to ex so now the function is in term of u so dy d u here dy du equals to e u okay so by using the chain rule formula here you just substitute what is dy du dy du is equal to e to the power of u multiply with du dx is f prime x so the answer is dy dx equals to e to the power of fx then you need to multiply with f prime okay what is fx fx is actually any function in terms of x so what is fx fx is any function in terms of x okay so please memorize the formula yeah example two find dy dx of the following a if y equals to e to the power of x over 2 so dy dx is equals to now we copy the function e to the power of x over 2 then you have to differentiate differentiate x over 2 differentiate x over 2 the answer is half so half of e to the power of x over 2 got it Okay, B. If given y equals to e to the power of 2x minus 1, so dy dx equals to, now you need to copy the function e to the power of 2x minus 1, then you have to differentiate the fx. What is fx? 2x minus 1. So you write first. For the beginning, you write first. So differentiate to x minus 1, the answer is 2. So I write the answer, the answer here. Okay. So the answer is 2 multiplied with e to the power of 2x minus 1. Okay. What about c? Okay. We continue c. c if y equals to 7 e to the power of x cubed plus 3x. So what is the derivative? Differentiate y, dy, dx. So please take note that you, you can use product rule here. Okay. So 7 is u. e to the power of x cubed plus 3x is v. So if you use product rule, please 
remember that y prime equals to u v prime plus v u prime so u is 7 so multiply uh, we copy 7 differentiate v e to the power of fx so copy here e to the power of x cube plus 3x then plus copy x uh, copy v what is v e to the power of x cube plus 3x then u prime differentiate 7 what is the derivative of 7 constant 0 okay so you don't have to write this one because when you multiply the answer is 0 so the answer is 7 multiplied with e to the power of x cube plus 3x okay Okay, now we move to example 3. Now we want to apply is either by using product rule or quotient rule. So I hope you uh, can apply the rule. Okay, let's do the answer. Okay, A, if y equals to x multiply with, multiply with e to the power of x, so we can start by let y is x u what is e to the power of x v so u equals to x v equals to e to the power of x u prime equals to 1 division x v prime or dv dx equals to differentiate ex ex okay so now differentiate y dy dx so dy dx equals to actually you, you can cross here u v prime so u is x multiply with ex plus v ex multiply with 1 so we factorize e to the power of x then we have x plus 1 okay what about b we have question rule here because the numerator is u and the denominator is v okay let's say you write first u equals to 3x plus 1 so u prime equals to 3 okay v equals to e to the power of x so v prime equals to e x also so differentiate y dy dx the formula is v u prime minus u v prime over v squared so now we substitute into the formula what is v e x differentiate u u prime 3 minus y is u 3x plus 2 differentiate v or v prime e x then don't forget to divide by v squared e x squared so the answer is what i can do here is i will factorize e x because we have e x at, uh, at both term here so e x so you factorize the x so we have 3 here minus 3x plus 2 remember we have a bracket here over e x squared so you simplify and you get the answer is e x divide by e x so the answer uh, you can cancel out e x so 3 minus 3 also oh no sorry you cannot cancel so we have negative 3 x 3 minus 2 is 1 plus 1 over e x okay so this is the simplest form okay we continue example c if given y equals to 3 over x, multiply with e to the power of a, a to the power of negative 2x. So, you can solve this question by use product rule. This is u and e to the power of negative x is v. Okay, so we write first u equals to 3 over x. I change to 3x to the power of negative 1. So, u prime equals to negative 3x to the power of negative 2. 
okay then I simplify to get negative 3 over x squared okay what about v v equals to e to the power of negative 2 x so v prime is equals to negative e negative 2 times e negative 2 x so differentiate y as usual dy dx so the formula is v multiply with u prime v is e to the power of negative 2 x multiply with u prime negative 3 over x squared plus v we have to multiply with u v is negative e and negative 2 e negative 2 x v prime sorry multiply it with u 3 over x 3 over x so simplify here you will have you firstly we need to factorize because we have the same function here e to the power of negative 2 at both sides so e to the power of negative 2x then we also have 3 here we have 3 so we, you put 3 in front then we also have a function of x as a denominator so we need to over x so please take note you have to factorize the same term okay the same term here so we have 3 for the both of expression here and we have e to the power of negative 2x and we have x here so what is the remaining inside the bracket the remaining if is we only have negative 1 over x and for this one what is the remaining term we have negative 2 okay we only have negative 2 so final answer so because of we have both term here negative negative also we can factor out so then we have negative 3x e to the power of negative 2x over x multiply with 1 over x plus 2 so this is the simplest form okay okay we continue example c if given y equals to 3 over x multiply with e to the power of a e to the power of negative 2x so you can solve this question by use product rule this is u and e to the power of negative x is v okay so we write first u equals to 3 over x i change to 3x to the power of negative 1 so u prime equals to negative 3 x to the power of negative 2 okay then i simplify to get negative 3 over x squared okay what about v v equals to e to the power of negative 2 x so v prime is equals to negative e negative 2 times e negative 2 x so differentiate y as usual dy dx so the formula is v multiply with u prime v is e to the power of negative 2 x multiply with u prime negative 3 over x squared plus v we have to multiply with u v is negative e and negative 2 e negative 2 x v prime sorry multiply it with u 3 over x 3 over x so simplify here you will have you firstly we need to factorize because we have the same 
function here e to the power of negative 2 at both sides so e to the power of negative 2x then we also have 3 here we have 3 so we, you, you put 3 in front then we also have a function of x as a denominator so we need to over x so please take note you have to factorize the same term okay the same term here so we have 3 for the both of expression here and we have e to the power of negative 2x and we have x here so what is the remaining inside the bracket the remaining if is we only have negative 1 over x and for this one what is the remaining term we have negative 2 okay we only have negative 2 so final answer so because of we have both term here negative negative also we can factor out so we have negative 3x e to the power of negative 2x over x multiply with 1 over x plus 2 so this is the simplest form okay okay we continue example d y equals to ex over ex plus e negative x so we will use quotient rule here what is u u equals to e to the power of x and v equals to ex plus e to the power of negative x so what is u prime division ex ex division v v prime equals to ex then you have to bring minus in front because of the rule minus e negative x so dy dx equals to v multiplied by u prime so ex plus e negative x you have to multiply with u prime ex then minus u v prime u is ex v prime is ex minus e negative x then divide by u squared ex plus e negative x squared so the answer is you need to expand this ex multiplied by ex e 2x ex multiplied with e negative x e to the power of 0 e to the power of 0 is 1 so plus 1 this one minus e to the power of 2x and plus 1 over ex plus e negative x squared then you can cancel out e to the power of 2x so the answer is 2 over ex plus e negative x squared okay let's continue e y equals to 2 to the power of e uh, 2 to the power of x cube multiply with log x so recall the formula for logarithmic function uh, exponential function y equals to a to the power of fx Okay, so y prime equals to a to the power of fx multiply with f prime x you need to differentiate f f prime x then multiply with ln a so we will use this rule now okay so fx is x cubed multiply with ln x so y prime is equals to copy the function 2 to the power of x cubed multiply with ln x then you need to multiply with f prime x or you can multiply with ln 2 first either one so multiply with ln 2 then differentiate x cubed ln x ok so 2 x cube ln x multiply with ln 2 and you need to differentiate this function by using quotient rule so i will do straight here 
different u v prime plus v u prime so copy x cube differentiate v v prime differentiate ln x okay you haven't done yet but i will share with you if v equals to ln x v prime equals to 1 over x okay and if u equals to x cube u prime equals to 3x squared so u v prime is division ln x 1 over x plus copy paste ln x v differentiate x cube we have 3x squared okay so this is actually the answer but you have to simplify this one first so the answer is 2x cube multiply with ln x first term second term we have ln 2 and last one we have x cube over x is x squared plus we have ln x here 3x squared I left right in front then followed by ln x you cannot multiply this to at least you know, eh? 3x squared plus ln x okay so this is the simplest form where we have three expression here okay so thank you